everyone. Welcome back to Letters from Players. This is episode number two. Um, so in this episode, I pulled out five letters um, from different players um, in baseball. And I asked them a sp specific question about what was going on, a big issue at the time. So these letters are about a decade old or, old or so. And the steroid issue was huge at the time. You know, Sosa and Palmero, McGuire, they had to go in front of Congress, you know, and everyone knew what was going on and none of them admitted to it. So what I asked these players, and some of them played in the 50s and some in the 80s, and some of them would have played with these guys. Um, the specific question I asked was, with a with recent light of the steroid issue, what should be done to the players and the records set by the players? And then I also asked, how long do you think this has been going on? And the first response here I have is from Dickie Knowles. So he played in the 80s. You know, he would have played with all those guys, you know, Bonds and... Um, he was mostly in the National League for the Cubs um, and the Phillies, I believe. But <clears throat> he just said suspend them. And then how long has this been going on? He he didn't know. He just put a question mark. So Bill Glenn is my next guy here. Um, <clears throat> he played in the 50s and I think just the 50s. Um. So the same question, he said, that's a tough call. I really don't know what to say. Um, it shows how great the older players were who established those records when without steroids. I have no idea how long this has been going on. Um, Mike Birkbeck, who also was a pitcher in the 80s, uh, he said if there's proof, undeniable proof, then an asterisk should be appropriate or would be appropriate it seems that the late 80s to early 90s it appears that the late 80s to the early 90s is how long this has been going on it seems to be a logical guess as to the start time is what he said um and then roy smalley who was a good player during the um i think late 40s 50s and I think into the 60s, early 60s. Um, so he said, I think drug enhancement started as a trend around 1959 or 60. So way before steroids would have been used. Um, and he says, I think the records of proven steroid users should be marked with an asterisk. So when he's talking about 59 and 60, those had to have been amphetamines. And Jim Bowden talks about that in his book, Ball Four. And Bowden played, he would have been the minors in the late 50s and then in the majors during the 60s. So that would have been around that time. So I think, you know, and if you ever read Ball Four, I recommend it. it talks. You know, that, that was pretty widespread. And obviously a lot of players didn't like that, didn't appreciate that, him talking about because nobody had ever really mentioned. But I'm sure that obviously they knew, everyone knew that was going on. Um, and then the last one I have here is Corey Snyder, pretty good player, 80s and 90s. He actually played on the USA Olympic team with McGuire and Palmero. So two of the big names from the steroid scandal. Um, and he had, I thought, had a really good response here. So he said it's, it's been going on a long time. Players, the players should be out of baseball. There's no room for drugs. Players are role models to kids. They should act accordingly. The record, the record should be taken away. So that's pretty candid response there from a guy who played with all those guys. I mean, he would have 
he played in Clemens, he would have played against Clemens, so he would have played with with and against the biggest names from those scandals. So from that scandal. <clears throat> so that was a really candid response, I thought. And you will get if you send, you know, thoughtful questions, you'll get candid responses. You know, you'd be surprised of what people have to say, their honesty. And actually this, okay, so I had this one dated. So that's 15 years ago, 16 years ago. Um, so that was when it all first broke out that I would have written these letters. So I hope you guys find this interesting. I, I think it's fascinating, you know, to hear from these guys and about the history of the game. And like I said, their candid responses. Please like and subscribe. So I'm going to have a lot more stuff coming up, so check back often. Thank you.